Yo, what's going on guys, Nizion here bringing you another video. Now in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can go ahead and create your own free thumbnail on the PlayStation 5. But before I get started with today's video, if you aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep updated with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. And also be sure to check out my second channel, Nizion Plays, as I am running a $50 gift card giveaway on it. Link to that will be down below in the description. And also I wanna thank you to Prince to giving me this video idea. Uh, he commented down below and if you want to give your own video idea or if you need help with anything also be sure to leave it down there and you might be featured in a video soon so essentially how you can go ahead and make yourself a free thumbnail or thumbnails on the playstation 5 it is actually very easy to do and it doesn't take that much time at all firstly i recommend you guys to get some screen captures or take screenshots by clicking the share button or holding down the share button depending on what your settings are for the the capture screenshot option once you guys have some screenshots saved of the gameplay or any of the pictures that you want to turn into a thumbnail then what you want to do is go to the playstation store and make sure that you have the share factory app downloaded on the playstation 5 it is a completely free app and some consoles do come with it pre-installs so you already need to just download the share factory studio application on your playstation 5 now once you guys have that you're going to go ahead and enter the share factory studio app and once you guys are inside the share factory studio app then you're going to go ahead and click under the second option known as the photo editor now there's a video editor but the photo editor is what you want to do and then you're going to click on start a new project and you can choose the whatever creator pack that you want to choose i just went with the no creator pack and then you get to choose your screenshots and etc and what themes that you want to put on it i just chose the basic screenshot itself with no creator pack and i started it up now right from here you can select a frame if you want a border to essentially cover up or if you want to go ahead and zoom in and pan and readjust the picture and photo you can also do that so there's a lot of different ways that you can go ahead and adjust this camera or the picture itself you can also add stickers as well as adding text like i show you guys right here so i just wrote how to get fortnite wins as a just a default thumbnail for you guys just to see you can also edit the layers edit the text move the text change the color the opacity you can do a bunch of different things also you can change the font as well as a bunch of different layer styles and the color of the font as well you can resize readjust and do all of this now once that is done and you're happy with the thumbnail that you've created you just have to click the triangle button to save it and once it is saved it will start rendering your thumbnail and it will be exported into your photo gallery you can then share it via your usb or onto your twitter page for now or you can save the project to work on it later and also the option that i really do like the most is once you guys click the option button when you're done and you want to save you can actually change the export settings to whether if you want the thumbnail to be png or jpeg jpeg being a more quality photo but a bigger size and the png being a more compressed file once that is done, you can go ahead and save the project or exit without saving after you saved it to your library. Then you can go into your capture gallery and plug in your USB and upload it straight to YouTube or wherever you want the thumbnail to go. And that is essentially it. it is a very short tutorial but it's a very easy way on how you guys can use your screen captures or use your photos you can also import your own photos from your usb onto the playstation 5 console and use the share factory to do so all you need to do is upload the photos first and then use the share factory application it's a very easy way to go ahead and make some free thumbnails for you guys without using any photoshop or anything and all you really need is the playstation 5 so that's been it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below i'll try my best answering every single question down there it's been a boy nizian and i'll be catching you all in my next video goodbye